Hey everyone, you may have heard of a sampler from the 1980s called the Fairlight. It had a lot of really advanced features for the time. For example, you could use a light pen and draw on a screen a custom waveform and then play that waveform back. Pretty advanced stuff for the 1980s and even today many samplers don't have that feature. Well, we're going to see that the Octatrack can be used to make that kind of wave drawing possible on a modern sampler. Let's take a look. First thing you want to do is load up a square wave. You can use any old square wave and even there's some factory presets that have a square wave in them. What you want to do is loop the high portion of the square wave or the low portion. So here we've got the raised portion of the square wave all looped and it's just going to play that particular part over and over and over again. Second thing we're going to do is make sure that the tempo is up all the way. So we can hit tap tempo and when we tap the tempo really fast, get it up to 300. So let's play that back. It's just a loop of the high portion of that square wave. And we don't really hear anything. We got one trig in here. There's one trig and it just plays endlessly and you don't really hear anything. That's okay for now because we're gonna go into the LFO designer. Let's take a look over here at the LFO. The important thing is to make sure that the LFO goes to the amp section and the volume setting. Also try to set this, the multiplier to 64x if you can, trig to free, speed all the way up, depth all the way up. That's going to do what we want it to do. Let's take a look now and play that wave with the wave set to something from the Octatrax defaults like the saw LFO. We see that the LFO actually is making a saw wave out of that square wave. If we change the LFO, for example, to a, a triangle wave, get a little bit of uh, aliasing or something there, but it sounds much more like a triangle wave. And what about square wave? That sounds like a square wave to me. So we see that the square wave is actually getting changed into different kind of waveforms based on the LFO. The part that I want to move to is the LFO designer. So here's, I'm on track four and I can go into the LFO designer here. And so here's my LFO de designer. I'm pressing play, I can't hear anything right now. But if I start to modify the LFO, I can draw in my waveform. So I'm gonna press a trig and start modifying the LFO as I see fit. I don't like that I'll clear it out. Let's take a look at the function where we press the trig button and hold tempo and then change the level. That's going to make a interpolation like a triangle wave or a saw wave. So we can make a lot of different kind of sounds that way. And when, once we've got a waveform that we like, we can just sample that and use it back on the Octatrack. Let's take a look at a few other things we can do. If we hit uh, function bank, we can randomize the waveform. We can get all kinds of fun waveforms that way really quickly without having to fool around with all the tricks. So that's a little fun way to do wave drawing on the Electron Octatract, and thanks for watching.